You are very helpful. Top of the stairwell yeah. to angry dogs on the other side of the door. You guys have made it in. One of you well, is no, hiding no, no, on no, the this, ceiling. As, as, as opposed, this is my helpful self, as opposed to my destructive self. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got out of the war, so I wouldn't have to hurt dogs. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good reason to get out of war. Yeah. So is somebody going to reach through and pet one of the puppies to make them friendly, or what are we doing? Well, well, this doggy door looks like it would require some serious work to open up from your end, but really easily hey, open actually, from the inside. Maestro, that might not be a bad idea. Are they on the local net? Don't know. I don't even remember if we even... Don't. I think I linked up you guys not. had total access to the back of the building with all of the stuff, but you didn't go into that because you were in stealth mode. Yes, the GM loves when the hacker doesn't try to hack into the building. Of course, you did hack in <laughs> once and it failed, I believe. I was going to say, I thought we tried, yeah, and I failed. Because, you know... It's almost like you think they have somebody hardwired onto a chair constantly running the net in this building. <laughs> that could have been on level two. That could have been you. <laughs> somebody I want to wait till I have a chance to shoot something because I don't have anything to build a trap with and I'm not smart enough to open the doggy door from the wrong side. I mean, remember, that with the mechanical doggy door being pointed out to you guys, someone could use mechanics or athletics to, to gum it up so the hinges don't work. I mean, um, someone should have yeah, some... Yeah, I, I could use mechanics to stop it. Someone should have this like horrible flashback of Mr. Burns saying, Release the hounds. Um, yeah, you want me to just make sure they can't get in here? So what are we going to do, just sit here at the stairwell? Well, yeah, that's the other part. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't say well, I'd throw I mean, good suggestions all at this you. keeping them in doesn't really do much for getting in. Well, keeping them in stalls them and gives you an opportunity to work on the um, computer locks. Uh, or can we physically unhinge the door? The hinges wouldn't be on the outside. Nope. They would be in a nice, safe place inside. <laughs> right. well, if I got to Lexit, I could have sworn we had doors open and all that stuff here. So well, if do I got to hack it on. Well, you, do have, the you do have the passcode to open the door. I mean... Oh. If someone wants to open the door, it's just who wants to be that guy. Yeah. Oh, well, if if it's that easy, if everyone's ready, I'm happy to be that guy. I'll open the door. Okay, so you're running up there and you're jamming in the passcode? If that's the plan, if everyone's ready to deal with whatever comes out. I mean, sitting here doesn't get us anywhere and builds more time for them to do stuff so I mean sure what's the worst that can happen I will just run up and open the door okay you jam in the code that Maestro's got which is one two three four five six <laughs> the door goes bee -ee. you see you hear some excited paws from the canines on the opposite end of the door and do you grab the handle and fling the door open of course, it does swing out, by the way, because that's how doors keep buildings safe. Um, so I, I have my laser pistol in one hand, and then I grab the door. Okay, so for two open. strain, I will gladly let you keep your action. I have quick draw. 
Well, you already have your weapon drawn, so that's not a problem. Oh, it's just, okay. I mean, you can still open the door uh, and then shoot if you want to take two strength. Right. Happily. Yeah, Happily. You can... walk up to the door, bip, 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 grab the handle when it goes pee, into green, and you throw the door open. And uh, you clearly see, as the blue box is now the unlocked open door, as you look inside, you see a very large chromed out gentleman. He's got a little bullpup pistol in his hands, and he's got the uh, other hand's got the electronic remote control for two cybered out dogs. That the main thing that you notice from the dogs that yes, their fangs are bigger than yours, and they're sparking with electricity. Oh, you've you've seen that modification before? It's basically taser fangs. I mean, what's the worst that happens when being bit by chrome fangs and they tase you afterwards? He looks at you, you look at him. There's this shocked moment of uh, amazement. The the canines kind of try to take in the situation. They they look they towards make... him. They look towards you. There's this moment to pause. And you have an action. What would you like to do? Oh. Hey, you may not believe this, but we're here to talk first. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not the talker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the shooter, so I will. Oh, no, no, no. That's what I say. <laughs> oh. Is oh, okay. <laughs> okay, as he says that, I shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we come in peace. We, to kill. we come in yeah. peace, and we shoot really well. Okay, but, so. See, I as the player want to shoot at the dog, but I as the as Darwin want to shoot at the person. So I'm <laughs> shooting at the person. Okay, so you're shooting at the person at short range, huh? Yeah. I mean, you totally know if you cool. shoot the dog, then you're the bad guys, and he goes totally John Wick on you guys, and this becomes a right. different story altogether. So go ahead and take your shot when you're ready. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Damn! Oh, wow. Ouch. Oh my god. Wow. Goodness. Damn! Okay, uh, okay so... Okay, so I may have ruined our talking chances. <laughs> well, pulling the trigger probably... The okay, oh, so uh, we're talking nine points damage before soak, right? Uh, <laughs> yes. Okay, oh. so I can tell you he is on his feet still as you burned a hole through his nice armored leather coat and you see the chrome chest underneath. He is definitely cybered out. And uh, that's a lot of advantages. What would you like to do with those advantages? Oh, I thought those were. Oh, yeah, those were the those were the good guys, not the bad guys. Um, can I have instead of hitting him and doing all that damage to him, can I have hit the controller and done all that damage to the controller? For three advantages, I'll say that you he drops and the controller falls and breaks. Okay. You see the batteries pop out of it. You know, it's it's basically taken out of the equation for three of those advantages. Okay. So you still have three advantages, three advantages. which Straight is with, enough to oh. it's enough to give him a him or the dogs a black dice and have your burn effect, which basically means he lights up on fire from the laser burn, or oh, have yes, a crit please. happen, or a crit, oh or a crit, fire or a crit, fire a uh, crit, I'll do a crit. Okay, so so you shoot him so well, a he he gets hit in a vital spot of his cybernetics. So we know that something interesting is going to happen there, which we'll find out right now. Let's go to his crit page. Da, 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 da. Critical injuries. And drum roll, please. Wow. Ooh. 
suffer one strain. He apparently uh, paid his dice <laughs> off nicely, so he is in fact yeah. suffering one strain. He does have strain. That should scare you right there. He rolled a one. Wow. <laughs> he rolled a one. Okay, but hey, it is All a crit, right. which means each additional crit from now on is going to be plus ten, so that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. That's how you take beefy guys out, by critting them out. So he dropped the dog's controller. The dogs are looking kind of confused. You know, you, you hit him, blast, hits him just under the rib cage, op clearly showing he's got cybernetics. And, um, uh, yeah, interesting things are about to happen. So, uh, he's not going to count on his dogs at the point when some <laughs> gangbanger comes in and he shoots him with a laser pistol. That's, and then I one of his friends say, we're here to talk. <laughs> 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 and, uh, he clearly looks back at you and says, frag you. And, and you, you see him whip that little bullpup pistol he has out and he starts to squeeze full auto. Uh, what's your duck. your range defense? Well, that's a dumb question. Uh, um, a one. It's not a dumb question. It's a great question. It's a great uh, question. <laughs> and I will totally do it. I will do it. Uh, and uh, he's he's gonna aim because yeah, why not? <laughs> I mean, after all, he is standing in short distance with a bunch of jamokes there in the doorway. And you know what? I will give you a black dice because you are in the doorway. You know, the door is there. Oh. It provides a little protection to you. Thank you. You're a nice I mean, guy. when I try to murder you, I must be nice <laughs> about it. I mean, you give us all the story points. You give a black die. You're a good guy. Matt. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh. oh. One of my blue dice did not roll. Why is that? Because of the black? No, the black black dice no. don't, wouldn't remove. Let's let's roll that blue dice and see. Oh, that's not what we're looking for. No. So <laughs> that first well, blue dice blue is what dice. we're looking at, which cancels out the fail, but we still have no successes. So he rips his machine gun off in this doorway here and basically does this whole shoots the ceiling of the uh, stairwell not covered with a parkour master and uh, <laughs> rips bullets into the door as you shot him and you have the satisfaction on your face as he, sh he shot the door frame and everything on full auto and did not put a single bullet in any of you guys. There's there's satisfaction in that. Yeah, I'm that fast. And uh, I am going to say since you, you, you were so exhausted trying to, you know, do all those things you did, move up to the door, password, open the door, shoot the guy, and you were trying to duck when the bullets came, for three advantage, I think you're going to fall prone when you didn't get hit there. That is fair. And uh, for the other two advantages, he looks at the dumb dogs and says, Get them, you idiots! And the dogs look up at him, and their tongues kind of come out. <laughs> and then they look at you guys, and then they turn to snarls. So expect oh. some doggy action. They might not have their, their oh, cool controller that gives them instant uh, instant target recognition. It's like, you know, totally that thing from Jurassic World Domination. You point the laser pointer at the person and the dogs become living missiles. So uh, who's going next? Our parkour master safe in, on the ceiling. Maestro well, I, safe I in the stairwell. The I did the perception roll to start, so. Oh, that's Unless right. That was, that's why yeah. you're safe on the ceiling. Our loony that was totally going to sabotage the door. I mean, you could technically close the door and lock it. That is totally an option. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait until later because I got a plan. Oh, so that means Maestro. It's, it's on you then. Uh, totally, she looks at you and shrugs. You're up. <laughs> I uh, I like when you said plan. There was there was the uh, spoken quotation marks. <laughs> there, there were totally air quotes there. Um, I'll 
take over a dog. Make it your own. Now remember these these that, aren't robot the dogs. Plan. These aren't robot dogs. They are cybernetic modified dogs. So it's a human brain. It's a dog canine brain with parts on their body that are cybernetic. But the parts do have Wi-Fi because of the controller. Um, their collar does. They have oh. little little oh. control collars, you know, like modern day hunters use for sending their dogs out into the field and then talking to them through the microphone. Okay. I mean, if Maestro totally had a chance to get a hold of that controller on the floor and look at the serial number on the bottom of it and give him the path, the, the, the passcode to it, he could totally send commands in whatever voice he wanted. But yeah, yeah well, part of my part of my plan is to name him Ramsey. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is Maestro going to do in the stairwell? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming I don't have a clear shot on anything uh yeah you might be able to get a a crappy shot on one of the dogs yeah <sighs> or again right, you could well, totally run up and slam the door shut in the guys in the dog's face and hit no. the lock button uh, i mean that just kind of defeat things so i guess i'll try to hack the system again Hey, I got a story point back. Let me know when we're ready. Okay, go for it. As you, you use your wireless modem and you look up at one of the uh, old terminals there and you're like, boopity boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for that two threat, you totally are in the system, but you know that they know that you know that they know that you know that you're in the system. Okay. So uh, you're you're in their network. They they do have a very nice network. There's lots of uh, cyber uh, artistry everywhere. You know, lots of you know. Bonus programs for the minions in the group. You know, little pop-up ads pop up telling you if you commit this many acts for the club, you can earn free cyberware. <laughs> yes, it's totally one of those companies. We will chrome you out if you become a good toady. Nice. Is there anything in particular you're looking for in the system? Um... I mean, at this point, it was getting into the system to, um, I, I look to see if he is potentially on the network via BMI. Uh, he is not, uh, on the system with BMI. Okay. He does have a comm in his ear, but, uh, he is not, uh, hardwired like you in the, in, into the network. Okay. He prefers hardware as opposed to software. As you totally can see when you you pull him up through your uh, BMI, that he's got like you know modified arms, modified chassis, modified legs. You know, he's he's built to bench press a good solid three to four hundred pounds of weight. Right. All right. Um. Anything in general that I notice? Or his activity or anything. Uh, you notice that there's a <coughs> call out that's gone to gang members to come to the base. That uh, you are possibly under attack by the police or someone else. Basically, there's this little uh, virtual alarm light swirling in each each hallway for anyone who's totally modded out that they see the VR stuff. Okay. I mean, you are in the system if you want to send a message or something. Um. Well, I mean, if I could shut down the alarm, that would be cool. Okay, go ahead and give me a hacking roll. I give this one as a freebie since you're in the system, but I need a roll since technically you're not supposed to be in the system. Right. And uh, I'll uh, use my uh, ready for anything 
take back the story point and spend the story point. Oh, you dirty dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got your upgrade in there. <laughs> yes, yes. I don't want to give you too many points. <laughs> All right. So hacking. All right. Here we go. Boom. As you clearly, you know, you hit the, uh, I'm assuming you hit the, sorry, just this was a test. Yeah. I know. This was Start a test of the clear. emergency broadcasting system. If this was a real emergency, you'd be too late to, be, to get here. <laughs> okay. So, right. uh, Maestro totally gives you that nod that he's in the network. And, uh... Then proceed to come out the pooches. And since there are two of you there, and they were just given a general command of attack, they're gonna they're gonna attack each of you guys. So first things first. Um, hmm. I'm gonna kind of pull you apart so you guys can see each other there. I think everybody's like all stacked on top of each other. So, uh, Darwin, you're on the ground. That's bad. Yeah, but they're puppies. They that were kindred spirits. Do, do you have a melee defense? Now, what kind of question is that? <laughs> of course, I don't. Are you sure? You only have um, range. It says it says range one. Melee zero. I've got Bucky Weave armor, but I don't think that helps for. Yep, that's just a range thing. Yeah. Okay, so uh, your 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 new best friend, we'll call him Chow Chow, looks at Aww. you, snarls this horrible snarl. Drool is burning off in the taser teeth that this thing's got. The poor puppy's got some like weird marks on his lips where the taser teeth have done some done a number on it before. Oh, poor fella. Sounds like a horrible thing to do to a dog. And uh, he's gonna he's gonna go ahead and bite you. When we win this fight, I'm gonna adopt him. Aww. So <laughs> Chow Chow's giving you a bite. Oh my goodness! Oh. Never mind. He's dead. Not yet, he isn't. So uh, Chow Chow's gonna hit you for eight points of damage. I've got a soak of four. So only four, that's not bad. And, uh, darn, not enough to do, not enough advantage to do the stun four on top of it, which is really nice. Oh, that's really nice. But, uh, he will do a, a, a uh, critical with that triumph and give you a uh, black dice on your next action as he's just like shaking your arm as he Such bites down on you. Sure. Uh, On the plus okay. side, your buggy weave armor absorbed all of the electrical discharge. That's a plus. Just not um, the steel teeth sinking into you. <laughs> so I need to roll my critical now. Yep. Uh, can I get a one, two? Hey, you got single digits. Yeah. Uh, so uh, basically you're so busy <laughs> being shaken about that everyone's getting going to go before you next time. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll call the other one uh, uh, Bolt. Yeah, Bolt. That's, that's a good one. You know, he's got the lightning. Chow Chow and Bolt. So uh, our favorite Looney is about to get bit. Do you have any melee defense? Um, I have one. One melee defense. And you're not prone, so it's not getting a blue dice. Okay, so Bolt is going to chomp down on you as he does the whole nyah, 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 nyah. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Wow, oh. these dogs are amazing. So, um, Bolt is going to hit you for eight points before Soak. Okay, I have a Soak of two. Okay, so uh, that's, that's a solid six points of wounds. Uh-huh. For those two threats, anything in particular you would like to happen to the dog that's not enough to disarm the, the, the biting teeth? 
If there was one more threat, I'd say that the taser function turns off. Um... Um, how about it's really wide open for the next person? Okay. And, uh, which, so, so whatever your plan is, you hit, you have a, uh, a solid blue dice. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And go ahead and roll your crit as it rips into you savagely, too. Well, my, my plan was not to be engaged. Wow. <laughs> Combat plans don't typically follow the... Oof, do you have other there. crits? Oh, wait. Why is there an offset? I took that off. Hold on. Do you already have a crit? How many crits are you currently sporting? None. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. I had two crits. Doctor, have you not been you healing thyself? Holy crap, you had a winded and a staggered still. Ouch. I had completely forgotten about those. Oof. Wow. Wow. Oof. Well, I, thought, I thought since it was until end of encounter, at the end of the encounter it, like, ended. Well, the crits don't yeah. heal until someone medically heals them, and you can only um, heal you can only heal so many crits at a time, which is one per week, basically. Yeah, the effect may not be persistent, but the crit is still there. Which, by the way, you on the, yeah, I see you're on your crit page. You want to click off to both those crits, by the way, because if the well, effect wait, one of them was the one that he just got, so I think I just had one. Okay, yeah, so you want to turn off the winded. Because if not, that'll actually affect your dice rolls. Oh, okay. So, I wanted... I don't know why I'm at plus 30, though. Because uh, I see plus 30 <laughs> in your... If you look in the crit roll offset above the big red button, you have plus oh. 30 written. So go ahead and heal the staggered. Get rid okay. of that plus 30. And roll it again without the plus 30. Okay, do I do plus 10 since I still have no, one? No, no, uh, you want it as zero, because it already knows that you have one crit in there, so it'll add a plus 10 automatically. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's... I'm, that's much better. Yeah, <laughs> so much better. <laughs> so, uh, the poor dog uh -huh. goes right up your leg and just uh -huh. savages the shit out of it. So, uh, just be mindful that your leg is all jacked up right now, and any athletics to run or to jump is going to be right. uh, upgraded difficulty, as Bolt just ripped a new one into your leg. On the, on the plus side, uh, that, that's, that's the dog's turns. So, uh... What's what's our loony's plan here is this dog savages your yeah. leg and you realize why on the moon and in space they didn't let people have dogs because A, <laughs> dogs don't like zero gravity because I could totally see a dog or a cat losing their shit in zero G. And uh, <laughs> who's the sadist that put teeth on dogs with electric sparks? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'm gonna try and hit it with the mono blade. Ooh, you're gonna stab the dog. You might be the baddies. Oh, what the dog ever do to you? Shoot <laughs> off my leg! <laughs> <laughs> the Damn, legs I'm just <laughs> the legs just been ripped to <laughs> shreds. This poor little scrawny loony leg. <laughs> yeah, but it's a cute puppy. There's hardly any, you know, muscles on that leg, damn it. Okay. It's more afraid of you than you are of it. 
So I'm I've got uh, I've got your difficulty in there. Is there uh, anything special you want to do besides the uh, free blue I gave you? Do you want to aim? Um. Yeah, I'm not moving, so it's a free aim. Yeah, you might as well. You could even double take two strain to to double aim and get three blue dice total. Um, I have a feeling I might need my stun okay. or strain. As you as you're clearly seeing, as it's chewing your over work overalls up, that the teeth are sparking together, going, "God, thank God that didn't hit me at least. Thank God for small favors." Okay, so I've got your difficulty in there. Unless there's anything special you want to do. Um, I mean, you do have all the story points practically. I just want to throw that one out there. Practically. Yeah, okay. Dante used the story point for me. I was about to do that. Yeah. Okay, don't, don't roll yet. <laughs> Let me get your upgrade in there. And now we get to see how good at shanking you are. Roll when ready? you're ready. Yep. Okay, not bad. As you take out your little mono blade and you just stick it in the dog and it, it gives out the yorp. Okay, now what does pierce do? So pierce it's two hard. means that the blade only does two points of damage. It's like it's like a scalpel, but it's a scalpel oh. with a monomolecular edge. So it guarantees to do two points of damage with the pierce two. So two points will always go through any armor. So, regardless of what their soak is, you know you did at least two points of damage, and you have two advantage, which is enough to crit. Okay. Because so, Mono Blade great. is really cutty critty. Too. Okay. So I will, I will definitely crit, and I was just wondering whether or not I needed to use those advantages to decide whether I was piercing or critting. Oh, uh, pierce is free. Pierce always happens. Okay. And you're pretty sure they have a soak more than two. So that means at least your two goes in, which is enough to then say, would you like to crit? Yes, I would. Okay, so for the poor puppy doggy, poor, poor doggy gives out a yelp and has Jesus Christ. Nice. So uh, <laughs> needless good. to say, you hit it in a very sensitive spot. You know, probably behind that shoulder blade. And uh, that's that's this guy. We're going to totally mark this guy for you. That's the one that you critted on. So I, I can keep track okay. myself. Since Get they both this use... dog off me! <laughs> <laughs> this was my plan, to get chewed up and say, Get this dog off me! As she well, shanks him with, her, with the little monomolecular <laughs> blade. Okay, so top of the order, we've got our parkour master still concealed in the ceiling with all the advantage of a super, super creepy assassin. We've got our two front combatants getting chewed on by dogs, one on his knees, and we have Maestro going, <laughs> I'm playing Tetris. <laughs> do, 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 he do, never do. does anything when we're fighting. Have you noticed what? that? <laughs> what are you talking about? His lights are blinking on the back of his neck really fast. <laughs> the hood's all the hood's all lit up. What are you talking about? I'm it really <laughs> means he's just paying his his credit card bills. But yeah, you know. <laughs> who's going first? We know who's going last. Who's going first? <laughs> Well, Dead uh, silence. I like it. I need to be disengaged for my game? plan to work. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do something. <laughs> and don't forget, there is the guy with the uh, uh, so assault rifle right here. He's got that little bull pub full auto gun, and he did rip the hallway full of bullets a second ago. The good news is he has to shoot through his dog to get to me. Well, yeah, it's true. Yeah. You are prone, so you could use the dog for cover. <laughs> All right, so um, I think and, what and I you will, totally know uh, that he's more interested in the chick who just stabbed his dog with a with a shank and made it scream out in pain. That's Darwin's so guy, plan. So this 
So does this guy look like a goon, or is he... Uh, like he looks like he's wearing or... really nice clothing. His gun's got some cool chrome edge work. He looks like okay. someone important. Okay. I mean... It's, you know, you see this glint from his jacket that he's got some cool chrome paint. You know, a little holographic display in the back of his jacket that, that was, was showing something cool before a laser hole got burned through it. He, this guy, this guy looks of money. Okay. Well, is anybody who is currently getting snacked on want to go first? <laughs> I think they're hoping you're going to save them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And well, again, I mean, I, up you, there, you, if you can get be a the rebound. dog off of me and the guy not shooting me, I can get the other. I can get the dog on him. Okay, and so, I uh, have no choice. So here's what I am gonna do. I'm gonna drop down, grab the top of the uh, door frame, and swing in to the room like here. Ooh. Okay. So I kind of drop, swing over the dogs, and then land here. I, I'm totally going to ask for coordination or athletics for that. Unless you oh, say I, you're using your jump pack, and then it's a freebie. Oh, well, yeah, that's what I've got the thing for. Okay, so you basically... Plus, it's the whole parkour thing, too. Yep. Oh, that's right. You could use the parkour thing, too, as instead. Because uh, both the parkour well, and the jet pack give you, as a maneuver, you can just do it. Yeah. Okay. If I don't need to do the parkour, I'll just do it with the belt. Okay, as you fall down and go with the jet with the belt and it gives that jet of air that makes you land beautifully on your feet with dogs behind you, the dog one dog looks over and does the whole free willy thing of just looking at you jump behind it. And this guy's like, What? Who are you people? Well And what are you going to do? I am going to... And you totally hit the to... landing like a gymnast. Nice. Uh, I totally intend to do some uh, kung fu on him. Uh, hopefully, is this a separate thing to try like, to try to disarm? Is that a se separate attack, or is that just if I get the advantage to do it? So you can, <laughs> you can choose to opt to go whichever way you want. You can choose to do basically an attack that if it succeeds it disarms him but it does no mm -hmm. damage or you can go for the attack and if you get the three advantage disarm him it's up to you because that way if you do the attack and the disarming is the bonus you still do damage if you're going to if you're going for the disarm straight out of the gate if you disarm him or not it does no damage it's just that you're disarming him of his rifle okay got it uh, let's see. Uh, what, what, it was a big assault rifle, right? It's a bullpub fully automatic. So actually, it's not a big bullpup. rifle, but it's close and tight to his side. Great for urban combat. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the barrel's only sticking out, like, maybe 12 inches out of your chest range. And, of course, you know, being cyberpunk, you've got the cool holographic display that still clearly leads... Reads that it's got more bullets in the chamber. It's gonna have okay, no you know, problem I, keep um, shooting. I think I'm gonna go for the disarm. For the disarm? Yeah. Okay. Now the quick question is: Are you using your combat, or are you using something fancy different? Uh, just my brawl. Okay, straight co straight combat. I like that. Makes the dice pool so much easier for you and for me. Okay. You wouldn't want to do the opposed athletics with this guy. He'd laugh yeah. at you as he jerks the, the rifle back. So go for the disarm. All you need is one success. And did you flip Ooh. a uh, did you flip a point? That was me. Yep. Okay, I got your upgrade in there for you. Okie doke. Uh, 
Yes. Nice. So you come up, you land with your parkour, and you do the cool martial arts move that everybody else is kind of in awe watching. You just you knock the weapon out of his hand, and it kind of flies over to the ground out of reach. Can I knock it back this way? Um, if you had advantage, I'd surely say yes. If you had three advantage, I'd say you could catch it, but you just disarmed him. So it kind of like okay. knocks back over here behind him. Okay, and then just as I do that, I said, call off the dogs, we just want to talk. And he just looks at you and he's like, the dogs are going to eat your friends, and then my new friend's going to eat your face. And he kind of like gestures towards his back at something. Hmm. So who's going next? Um, I'm still in, I'm still engaged with the dog, right? Yep, you are definitely engaged with the dog. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. I might want to do another. Could you click on where the, it went? Is it like it's back it's here? like over here? This little half okay. square. Are you gonna? So you're gonna uh, do yeah, two strain for another maneuver? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, uh, I just basically just like to do spend two strain, get the maneuver, and pick up his gun. Well, it's you'd have to get behind him. Well, that's what I would do for the maneuver. Okay, go for it. All right, so yeah, I'll. Because uh, remember, let's... drawing and you, you know getting the weapon ready is an action is a maneuver. Yeah, I'm just picking it up. I'm not yeah. readying it or anything. As he grabs the barrel like a baseball bat. <laughs> and now that you are behind him, by the way, you do realize on his back, he's got one of those nice little shoulder holsters, and it looks like a sawed-off shotgun's back there. Oh, man. As he totally have watched to you flip around him. So who's going next? As you guys see, Dante's going all parkour floor gymnast act inside this room. Alright, well... Again, sadly, the guy with the golden gun, we know who is not going first. <laughs> I, I want to so much. <laughs> As he's being wriggled and jiggled by the dog's attack. I will use my one and only slap patch there. <laughs> Oh, uh, gal there in front of me. You reach up to your favorite loony and slap patch her in the back of the neck as you see her legs just getting shredded. And how Let's many see. wounds will she get back? Five. I don't think any's been used. Nope. That I know of, so. Okay. So don't forget to heal yourself for five points. As he uh, cares yeah. about you. You know, he wants to make sure the dog doesn't eat through <laughs> you to get to him. But he cares about you. He doesn't just give drugs to anybody. Uh -huh. As you feel the slap patch and go, what's that lump in the middle of the patch? Don't worry, you'll, <laughs> like, you'll enjoy it. Didn't include anything else. So the dogs are kind of continuing to do their thing as uh, this guy is totally going to turn around and I'll hold down alt so I can go diagonal. And uh, for his maneuver, he gladly reaches back and pulls out his boomstick. And uh, thankfully, he is engaged practically with Dante, so it is going to upgrade the difficulty of being shot with the shotgun at point blank range. Oh, look, Dante spent a story point to make it even more difficult. <laughs> I don't like shotguns. <laughs> and do you have any range defense? I have a range defense of one, and I've also got the dodge um, talent. So I can... Uh, where is it? Uh, I'll suffer a strain, and it upgrades his attack yet again okay so one upgrade for the one upgrade for the flip one upgrade for the dodge the, these are all good smart choices just just gonna throw that one out somebody, there somebody didn't want to get hit or something no i mean <laughs> <laughs> 
They, these these are good choices. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. So uh, so we got two upgrades. Uh, we have a range defense one. You said right. Yes. And what should be one purple is only I mean is actually two purple since you're engaged. And uh, I'm going to be um, stealing that point I used back. <laughs> oh, you dirty buggers. You Let's still have out plenty of, of points. <laughs> There's your point back. Now Jeez. I don't feel sorry when I pull this trigger. And... No, he's not going to hamstring you. Because he's already got you right there next to him. Why would he want to hamstring you? I was just looking at his options. With the shotgun? With the shot. Well, he's actually got the talent hamstring. So he can uh. actually do half damage, but, but make you lose your maneuver next turn. It's a, it's a talent thing. How can okay. you hamstring with a shotgun? Aim for a hit, hit somebody in the <laughs> hit someone in the shin with a shotgun and see what happens. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, it means you lose your maneuver because it knocks you off balance, yeah. you know. But let's see what'll happen instead of being hamstrung. What? Oh, oh you owe us a story point. Yeah. Why? Why do I owe you a story defective. point? Because it was defective. You got two reds? Look at how effective they were. That was a threat and a, a failure there. That was super effective. Was As horrible. he brings this this sawed-off pump shotgun down at almost your point-blank face, and you kind of like, whoop, try to juke out of it. As he clicks the trigger, and you just hear the kaboom. As, as four little objects in a flash... Rip into your side, and for a second, you think you're a dead man. And all of a sudden, you realize there's more pain than death should involve. Oh, dear. As so. uh, he hits you for 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points of stun damage. And he will totally use the three advantage for the knockdown to lock, knock you flat on your belly. Ooh. You said that was... Well, that so it's all from your strain, not your wounds. Oh, okay. Yes, so believe out. it or not, this guy carries a gun meant to stun people, not murder them. It's a shotgun loaded with stun rounds, which is basically rubber bullets. Okay, well, I Wow, did that seriously out. drop you? Yeah, uh, you said 12 damage, right? You still have your soak, don't forget. Uh, yeah, that's only 4. Oh. And he was already at 7. Oh. Yeah. Now remember, it's just stun damage, so you're not dead dead. He just hit him in the side, and you all see him drop to the ground. You don't notice that the pellets aren't ripping through his body, but bouncing off the floor. But, uh... And he just snicker snickers and looks back at the dogs... And says, Daddy's got a new chew toy for you when you're done with our neighbors. And they, ever loving, chick, chick. Hey, it's, uh, no, it's not the last round yet. <laughs> <laughs> Who's, uh, that's, that's, that's our loony, so right? Yeah, I don't think there's anyone other than me, and I'm still engaged with the stupid dog. <laughs> but but you feel way better as that stimulant is running through your body, stymieing the blood loss coming out of your leg. It was, in fact, not your femoral artery open that you were afraid of. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Um, I think the only thing I can do is try and stab the dog again. Oof, you're so brutal. And you want an upgrade. Are you aiming as well? Yes. Okay, go for it. 
Poor pup. Oh no! Don't no, don't go for it. I lied. I totally oh. lied. Sorry. I had his. I had uh, the previous two upgrade cylinder. Go ahead and reroll that. I'll let you take okay. the better of the two rolls. How about that? Tell me when. Go for it. All of a sudden, I was like, "Ah, oh, it's good," and I saw the two upgrades last second. Oh, so I, I think you want that one instead. Yeah. Okay, so we have this poor wounded dog already has a crit on it. You uh, hit for three points of damage, which you know is at least two points. Uh huh. And do two crits. Uh, so it would be a crit plus ten. Is that what you're wanting? Oh. Because if you're doubling um, well, it, doubling it, you don't roll twice. Unfortunately, you can only do well, one it'd be, crit. It'd be plus twenty because they already crit it once, right? Yeah. Yeah. Poor cyber dog. Why is everybody trying to kill the cyber dog just because they're vicious looking? Okay, so staggered. It cannot perform an action on its wait, next. Wait, 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 wait. This is just plus 10. No, it's 12 plus 10 plus another 10 to 32. It rolled 12, oh. and it became a 32. Okay. previous criticals, plus 10. Okay, I got it now. Yep. Okay, so uh, basically you stick it in a way that it y gives out this horrible yipe that that you know it's reaching from pain. You found that nerve cluster to go for. That's where the, the organic meets the inorganic on this thing's shoulder. And it's just staggered, so it cannot attack you next turn, which is obviously shows why you're fighting smarter, not harder. <laughs> which means technically it still has... Oh no, that, that's only... The previous one was just until end of encounter. So he's still going to have that uh, difficulty there. Uh -huh. Okay, so anything for your movement? I mean, you could totally run away. I mean, hell, you can totally I get... Can, I can disengage now, right? Yeah, well, technically there's no disengage in this. It's just you can move out of uh, engaged range to short range. Okay, so where exactly did that remote go? Uh, so the remote is somewhere in the room out of your view. You didn't really see where it went. Okay, and can I take... Does, does it look like the desk um, has any defensive value? Uh, I mean, if you wanted to run sh into the room, you might be able to see more of that, but from where you currently are, you can't really tell. Okay, I mean, well, it is a desk. You can do. dive behind it as concealment. I mean, it might be cover and concealment, or it might just be concealment. Okay, so I'm so going to be using whatever move I can without trying to make a roll because I'm, like, limping along. But once I actually get I mean, you into can the room... Totally get up to here if you want. it. Okay. And you totally see your buddy on his belly, you know, not moving. And don't forget to take two strain for your second maneuver because you did aim on your previous attack. Right. As the guy looks at you and looks at your friend on the floor and he's like, How dare you come into my home? As the poor dog's just like shocked of what's going on out here. Now we're going to find out what the plan is. So this dog, he's busy retching, you know, doing his little staggered thing. This dog is totally going to chomp down on Darwin again. But why? Because you're his new favorite chew toy. <laughs> you're laying there, rolling around on the floor with him. <laughs> it's all about the playtime. But I had a plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, had. <laughs> on the plus side, he's got a blue because you, you're prone. Mm, doggy's going to chomp on you. I'm totally stalling in case you wanted to do something with that last point. I, I respect you for not using it. Just saying. I, I, well, if I survive this, I'm saving because I do have a plan. Oh my Crap. god. Ooh. 
Man, this, these attacks are just lining up today. Oh my god. So, uh, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be uh, eight, eight wounds before soak. Still have four soaks, so four more. Uh, one of the bites, you can totally tell that the teeth hit bone. And uh, for three of those advantages, you feel this electrical jolt shoot through you that does four stun. So uh, go ahead and check off four strain there. And that's that's unsoakable. And then roll me a crit. I'd rather not. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. It's using the same dice pool. Yep, so I can't change nothing. Aren't you glad I didn't hit a, hit a story point? <laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? Let's find out together. <laughs> 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 As poor Darwin is just getting ravaged by Chow Chow. As Chow Chow is just ripping into the back of his head and just shaking it in the, the horrible, disgusting way we've seen in way too many videos. As uh, that's, that's going to be 10 points before soak. Uh, that puts me at minus three. And uh, go ahead and take four stun for the two advantage. Okay, I think wow. I'm, I'm 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 useless now. Bottom, and, I and almost double bottomed out. Don't forget to roll the crit for being dropped to zero. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter <laughs> that I lost my free maneuver. <laughs> that doesn't, but I mean, it could. Be it could have been really worse. Bad. It could have been way worse. Yeah. Okay, so Maestro, you see this dog is ravaging Darwin, yeah. almost like your loony friend was ravaging the other dog. I mean, except instead of tiny, tiny stabs with precision, this is just brutal tearing into him. Yep. See, my plan had been I was going to throw the dog at the dude, but... <laughs> I was gonna say, well, your turn's coming up. Oh. <laughs> there's a there's a Never sad commentary. Thanks, thanks for being the guy who said it, not me. <laughs> so top of the order. I mean, all right. So okay. Dante will, gives out this exhaust of breath that he's still alive. Wait, 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 going... wait, wait, wait! I'm going first. <laughs> can I see the remote? Uh, you can see the remote. Okay, where is it? It's basically like over here on the floor. Okay. And peace. Can I use my maneuver to go to the remote and pick it up? I will let you pick it up, slap the batteries in it, and be able to use it as an action if you can make a me an easy mechanics check. That's one purple, by the way. That's just because there's stress of you doing this precision thing in the middle of a heated moment that you saw the remote, you acknowledged what the remote was, you swiped the remote, the cover, and the two batteries and popped them in, and then saw, flipped the remote around to see that there are commands, which is basically attack, designate target, heal, <coughs> or kennel. James. Yeah? Fuck that. I'm a military um, combat veteran. I've got Quick Fix. And what does Quick Fix do? Um, temporarily repair damaged item. Item may be used without penalty, even if it's unusable. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so you swipe up the controller. You saw those commands that were on it. What are you going to do with that? Have them ta have the dogs attack the guy. Oh, that's mean. I thought you were just going to put them in the kennel. Nice. 
So, no, so you point the controller at you. this it's guy and you hit designate target? Yes. As he looks at you and looks at the thing in your hand and looks in the little red cat dot on his chest and he just goes, uh-oh. <laughs> and he looks at his babies and his babies, both their ears twerk up and they both look in the room's direction as poor, poor Darwin... His last moment is the dog releasing him and he flops on the floor. So, uh, yeah, the dogs will be uh, making an attempt at him when they get a chance. Okay. I told you. So, Maestro, what are you going to do? I guess nothing now because he's got a plan. I'll let the dogs do their thing, I guess. I mean, Darwin is only at minus three if you want to try to heal Darwin. I use my one and only oh. slap patch. Okay. You can try mouth to mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Give him mouth to mouth and, and air's bubbling out of the holes in his throat. <laughs> Don't worry, the scars will look cool. Chicks will love it. Can you continue shooting him, though? I mean, he might, like, survive the dogs a bit. Well. I, I, so we're going on a destroy mission, I guess, now, instead of trying to change. Okay. I don't know. When we started shooting, I think the penalty <laughs> went out the window. Uh, I was planning to hopefully put a stop to everything, but that's all right. Uh, it's going to work now. At least there's um, no backup coming outside the building. That's that's a, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's what you get for letting me open doors. <laughs> that's what I get for letting me open doors. So, all right. Uh, oh, oh, oh. See, that's what the dogs sound like. The dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, we'll I'll we'll say you're holding off, the, or no, I'll oh, turn around, oh, or lean into the doorway and shoot him, I guess. Okay, standing over Darwin. So whatever, I don't know, what am I at range wise? Oh, uh, short range. range are, are you aiming as well? Um, yeah, sure, might as well. Okay, I got a blue dice for your aiming. There you are, exposing yourself to danger. Uh, just kind of leaning up <laughs> and over, not fully standing up. So, all right, ready? Let's hope you don't shoot the dog instead. Yeah, well. <laughs> are we all set? Yep, all good to go. Oh, okay. okay, so nice. you get your little pistol and you... Round shoots out across the way, and uh, you clearly hear a ricochet -y sound off of him when it hits him, but it does do some damage. So, uh, okay. seven points before soak, right? Uh, yep. And we will, uh, um, look here. Got three advantage. Oh, what would you like with hit. that? So, yeah, we're, we're going to crit him. I was just double checking my mods. I know I had a mod on it, but it's a concealed mod. So yeah, we'll we'll crit him. Okay. The crits are coming out to play. Ooh, he rolled poorly. Uh, he yep. has you hit him right in the, the the floating cybernetic rib. So he cannot voluntarily suffer strain to activate abilities or gain additional maneuvers. That's going to suck, because he totally had a thing he was going to do, which he can't do now. Nice. Oh, <laughs> poor fella. As he just kind of glances in the hallway and kind of has this worried look at his dogs, because he's afraid of what's about to happen. And I'll tell him, stand down, and we can talk. And, and at this point, now that you know, you just shot him and crittered on him. Stand down. He he he's got this angry, 
cyber veins bulging on on his on his torso as he just looks out the hallway and just says, "Screw you." Nobody turns my dogs against me. And he he's, he's totally looking at you with that controller. And uh, he's, he's going to shoot you with the shotgun. Do you have any ranged defense? One. One ranged defense. He's totally not going to aim because he's going to move after he uh, takes the shot. And uh, let's go ahead and be a little more there. Yeah, that's that's nice. As uh, he's he's gonna he's gonna take his shot on you without any cool upgrade stuff. So uh, here comes the shot. So. He's uh, he's gonna hit you for ten points of strain damage before soak. Um. Okay. That puts me at exactly zero strain. You have no soak. You don't have soak. I what? have two soak and eight strain left. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's down. Two. Sorry. Yep. As uh, he's then going to walk over and try to pick up the controller from you. He's totally going to take two strain for that. You can't, he can't, can he? Strain. Oh, you're right. He can't. You caught that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> so he comes up there and would love to pick up the uh, controller. And you, Maestro, you just hear him shouts, Another one of your friends is down! As, uh, was there anything Maestro wanted to do in that, that blip that was a PC? Since you didn't do anything technically yet? I shot. Oh, that's right, you did shoot. Okay. So, uh, first, the healthy dogs rushing in to attack. Because that's what they do. And well, at least we got to see Jim fight himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they'll miss now. Watch. <laughs> nice. Well played, hey, Driv. Uh, why not? Okay, so the first dog's the the one that's in good shape is gonna rip into him. Because it's so much easier to roll the good one than the the crippled one. Damn! <laughs> As it, it, it hesitantly bites into its master, and he just looks and makes the schmooky smookums face. Oh, chow chow, I know you're just playing. <laughs> Obviously, his cybernetic arms have been chewed on by his puppies before. That's now comes the horribly gimpy one. Eh. As says, what was the... So let's turn his grip back on. I had to turn it off for the healthy one. Uh, increase the difficulty of all checks by one. <laughs> As he comes up and, and he looks and says, Bolt, what did they do to you, baby? What did they do to you? And Bolt apparently has got some twitchy, nervous issues right now, which I'll totally give you the free upgrade because I forgot to remove it and uh totally bites down on his arm for six seven eight points did you add a third uh an extra purple on it no it's just two purple oh i thought it was he had to up add one to the difficulty of it yeah i accidentally had the upgrade on the good side not the bad side apparently the crit didn't auto oh, add okay. it in there 
But I'm giving it to you because it's on your guys' side. Sadly, he is still on his feet. It's his, his puppy rips into him. Because he does have a really good soak. But, all of a sudden, the last thing that Griv sees is the electrified teeth jolt him for four points of drain damage. As he's like, it's okay, puppy. It's okay. Okay, so top of the order. Maestro. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... I promise you right now, if you run away, this is not the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, so... I'll give him one more chance and go with the, what I was originally going to do. And it's like, stand down now, or the building will come down. If I go unconscious... This building will drop. You wouldn't do that with your friends here. As you just get this total sense of dismissal, unless you're wanting to use a skill. I'm going to use a skill. Ooh. Ooh. And what skill are you going to use? I'm going to do some deception. Buildings like these have bomb detectors. Except for when they're underneath the building. <laughs> no, I'm joking from Fifth Element, though. Remember yeah, when they oh, say yeah. their ships oh, like yeah. these have bomb detectors? They'd go off by now, and then the bomb detectors go off. <laughs> it's like, we'll do what we have to for our client. I've got your difficulty in there. All right. And yeah, unfortunately, people used story points, so I couldn't spend it for this, sadly. All right. Oh, wow. so he does not buy your bluff for a second. But there are two advantages that have. And take three strength. Oh, okay. So you have two triumphs. You take three strain because you're, you're you're lying that you would pull the trigger on your friends. You wouldn't kill your friends. Well, that was the lie. I mean, yeah. the bomb and everything's not a lie. Yeah, so you have two advantages. What would um, you like to... I mean, two triumphs. I keep calling them advantages for some reason. What would you like for your two triumphs that is unrelated to the deception itself? <sighs> I mean, you could always put your hands up and walk in the room. I'm saying. You could, in fact, begin with the conversation part. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. He probably Dude, thinks, because he's a right. loyal guy with his crew, he would never blow up his people willingly. He doesn't think... Only a total insane Unabomber hoodie-wearing crazy would blow up a building with his friends inside. He, well, even, I, you called? I didn't say I was going <laughs> to fill it up. I didn't say I was going to pull the trigger. I said, if I go down, the building goes down. It's a dead man switch. Mm -hmm. So... So he didn't believe that it's a dead man switch. So does he believe that there's an actual bomb? Okay, I will definitely take that for one of those. He will definitely believe you that there is a bomb. And he is now yeah. glad he stunned two hostages for a bomb. Okay. Um, trying to see how to work it. It's like I said, my lie was that I was a dead man switch, not that there was a bomb, and not that I would not pull the trigger myself. So, besides, he'll just shoot you with rubber bullets. Nobody, nobody sets a dead man switch up to going to sleep. Just that if they die. 
Right? <laughs> well, shit, what to do? <laughs> you still have a triumph to spend. Do <laughs> you call it an anonymous bomb threat? <laughs> Hello, 911. Right. I have a bomb threat to report. Um. Oh, um, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Yeah, I don't know what else to do with it. I mean, I could use to any major advantage. Um. I mean, you could totally use it for a parlay at this point. Like I said, if you t if you totally did the I just want to talk at this point, he would probably I, listen to that. I mean... I've said that multiple times, or I've said that, so and that's why I said, so stand down. Well, the saying, so it, we and, you know, the saying it as he's being shot is kind of hard to put the point past, but... No, but just now, I was like, mm -hmm. you know, look, I got a dead man switch, just want to talk. But for that you triumph, know. I'll give it to you. Okay. Just shooting someone and saying, I want a parlay. No, no, no. You, we've passed the point of parlay. As the old movie said, Dem diplomacy is dead. Yep. I thought that was Darwin. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, well. Um, yeah, so if you'll talk, yeah. Okay, and he basically says, "Come in Please, and don't character is trustworthy. don't have don't cause any more tricks or lies. I'm wise to your lying mouth." Er. I only lied <laughs> that it's a dead man switch, not that it's a, uh, not that there's a bomb. There is a bomb. <laughs> okay, do you walk in the room? I walk to there. Okay, needless to say, at uh, his turn, he hits the button on the controller, and uh, the dogs go running off to their kennels. As, as he kind of pets the really wounded one, Haunch, saying, It's okay, Pookie. Daddy just has to talk to this asshole. Oh. And uh, he's right. he calmly has his shotgun, and he has no problem calmly walking, not stepping on your friends behind his desk, and sits down with the, his hand on the shotgun, laying on the table, pointing in your general vicinity, and he gestures for you to come in and talk. There is a free chair that does not have your friend passed out on it. True. <laughs> and when you when you walk through, I mean, you see the sadness that is Darwin's jagged wounds, uh, and 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 gurgling and bleeding out. But uh, you do see that Dante and Griv are breathing. I mean, that should at least give you a sigh of relief that uh, he he didn't pick up the assault rifle that's sitting over there by Dante and finish them off. Right, right. Uh, come into here. It's like. We just need to talk to you, need you to cease and desist your acts on a client and negotiate whatever terms to uh, do that. It's and obviously got way out of hand. He kind of looks <laughs> over your shoulder at the person bleeding all over his hallway. <laughs> the guy that took the gun out of his hand. And he just sizes you up for a second. And, and kind of looks at you and says, Tell me one thing. Who sent your people to my house? And the way he says that is, is very disconcerting. Yeah. So nobody sent us here. We are operating on behalf of our client. And he just kind of shifts the eyebrow, and you, you, you kind of instantly get the, the the feel of client is the who that he's looking for. 
He's wanting you to say the words. Sure. So, again, we are here to cancel any actions against our client, not retaliate against the client. We came here on our means to handle the situation for him. I have control of your system, your system, and all that could be brushed under the carpet. Myself and my friends can leave, and you just stand down on any other hostilities against our client. And he just kind of slides the shotgun to point back at your chest area and, and says, and again, sent you to my house. Not going to give you any information because we weren't sent unless you agree to stand down on any hostilities and actions against said client. Well, if you're not going to name their name, how do I stop from her? I could have like boys said, out right now trying to take care of the situation. If I don't know like which said, one of our shakedowns is not supposed to happen, how can I agree? He just smirks and kind of kind of chews on you know his, his cud kind of motion that's really a sad grind metal on middle sound. Uh, like I said, you seem like a trusting person. And once you agree that you will not retaliate against and will desist, cease and desist activities against said client, then I can give you information. Otherwise, I can have the police come here and raid your place. And then I always have the option of dropping your building if you want to push the situation. Okay, do me a favor. Go ahead and give me... <coughs> excuse me. Give me a negotiation check. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, they knew how to do that is an offense on the floor. <laughs> As unconsciously, he's putting his thumbs up at you. You got this, maestro. And uh, I, I am giving you a black dice since you did kick in his door and shoot the place up. I didn't. You guys. <laughs> With your mysterious secret organization that you're not willing to tell him much about. Oh, yeah, he doesn't need to know who we are. <laughs> I did flip a dice there, so... Yep, I got your upgrade. upgrade ready and waiting. Let's see what's going right. to happen. Ready? Yep. Yeah, not expecting much. Hey! Hey, wow, he does not that. just pull the trigger on you wow. right then and there. Look at that shit. Okay, so he looks at you. And he gives you this, this look that, that you immediately realize he appreciates your machismo. That uh, you did have the balls to walk into to his office. He doesn't know about the rest of these goons lying on the floor. But you have the balls as, as not the biggest looking guy. But he does see your cyberware. Now obviously I'm thinking it's your, the lights from your BMI flashing that he's seeing. That you're, you're a fellow chrome head. Yeah, from uh, underneath my hood. Yep. And, and and he says, you know, he just looks at you and kind of lays the shotgun down, but has it's it's easily within hands reach to touch at any moment. As he uh, kind of you know fiddles with the dog controller and opens his desk drawer and places it back in the desk, and says, if you want to uh, consider this a misunderstanding. I mean, my chrome just needed a polish after this. You've got three bodies on the floor. We can, we can, we can talk about calling this a uh, just a misunderstanding. 
And he does the whole steeple his fingers up on the desk and leans forward and says, Besides, for, for a fellow lover of Chrome, and he kind of like gestures towards the walls of this office, which you haven't seen before, and all of a sudden you realize there's th these like Chrome supermodels extraordinaire, you know, hot chicks, buff dudes, <laughs> you know, Folks showing Chrome is better than Android any day because there's a real heart and brain behind it. Because you know, <laughs> robots keep, don't have souls, but Chrome jocks have have heart, souls, minds, and spirit to boot. And, and, and he gives you this look of uh, if you if you can tell me who this mysterious client is that has such good uh, good employees. I'll, uh, I think we can consider that just the price of, uh, good and future business, as he gives you the nod. Okay. That's it. And, uh, take three strain for the, the threat there that, uh, you were sweating your okay. ass off, but you're looking Joe cool while you're doing it. As there's yeah, this yeah. big speed of sweat going straight down your spine to your chonies. <laughs> We live in Arizona. We live in that lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> As he looks and says, so tell me who your client is. So, as i talking with him, I pull out of my pocket with my one hand and pop a pill. And he kind of gives you an eyebrow to that. Uh, it's my strain is all healed now. <laughs> <laughs> As you pop an upper and feel better. <laughs> Wish my friends had one of these, don't you? Getting a little getting a little heavy, so you know, he's, he's getting a little stressed. Definitely needed a little little uh relaxing. <laughs> so Does that mean so. you straight out at the end of the <laughs> encounter? <laughs> Well, not necessarily. It's a, it's a roll. <laughs> <laughs> As he walks towards the door and passes out on Darwin's cor corpse. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm good until the end of the encounter. <laughs> um, Alright, so, so I will tell him, so look, so here's the deal. So our client, again, if I can get just something in writing that you agree to cease hostilities. We will. I will return your 10k. Was it 10k I took or 20k? Uh, it was 10k. 10k. I'll also return the 10k that I acquired from your account. And the first attempt to try to cease your actions. As he kind of smiles with you and he says, something in writing. And he kind of smiles at you like, you know, men like you and I use paper. <laughs> so uh, he, he reaches into his desk and he pulls out his data pad and he starts, you know, typing. And it's ridiculous watching his oversized thumbs typing on this, data, this reinforced data pad. And he looks at you and says, on one... Requests on my part. Mm -hmm. I want your personal contact information. I like the way you operate. Okay. And I'll give them Maestro's information. And uh, he, he immediately swipes the pad, which, you know, sends, you know, if you're open to the net, which you are, you see that there's a digital form saying that uh, we will cease and desist all operations on fill in the blank. And do you give him the client? Yep. Okay. He puts the client's name on it and s swipes the document, electronic document to you and just kind of laughs. And he just smiles at you and says, all of this over a stupid reproduction of an outfit. It is a bit silly, but we were hired for the job and we take it serious. And he just kind of like looks around the room 
and you see on his data pad he keeps like hitting the mute button on a bunch of messages that has come up on his pad basically you know you have a firm belief it's his his folks in the building basically messaging him and he's just hitting the, the pause button on the reminders okay. as he just says so uh, so we have an agreement I reach out my hand to him, and, and he gives you the, the 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 nice handshake, not the overbearing handshake, which you're sure would crush your hand. And, and as he kind of he do, he does the body check when he shakes your hand, looking at your arm up to your shoulder, he's like, you know, we could uh, chrome you out for a pr pretty good price. I, I'm sure. I appreciate that. I may look you up for something at some point but not nah, it's uh, I'm okay without those kind of odds at the moment and uh, he, he leans back in his desk and just you know makes a little funny haha -ha comment about how uh, he's never been a fan of uh, shotgun negotiations as he picks up his shotgun and holsters it back in his back holster <laughs> but uh, so what were you saying earlier about explosives and he says it yeah. in a nice, genuine way, as in, like, it's not a threat or anything. He, he figures now that you're being nice and social and shit, you can talk about, uh, talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a, a bomb that was set to tactically bring down the building if need be. Uh, several bombs in several places coordinated so that way they would bring down the building. A single bomb wouldn't do it. I don't think he's giving he, away that information. He apparently though. mumbles in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know if you remembered. <laughs> no, I, just, he doesn't. I'm not worried about the full details. Just that. Not giving away the rigged. secret recipe yet. The building was rigged to to be dropped at my command. The building is set to explode. Well, not really. The foundation is set to explode. From a certain point of view. So, the building will just crumble, not necessarily blow up. <laughs> it's set to implode. Right. That's so much easier. So, but of course we'll clear all that and all will be good as he kind of like lifts an eyebrow and just says that I would uh, I, I, I would appreciate that with the, the kind of knowing glance and uh, kind of kind of leans forward in his desk there <laughs> and uh, you know you can you see one of his hand kind of lazily texting people back that have been messaging him as he says, and uh, one more thing, if you don't mind. Yes. I mean, I like the way I, I like the way you operate these these mooks. I'm not too sure. I mean, I I hope the one in the hallway is sleeping it off like these guys. My, my my babies have you know the ability to knock somebody on their butt with their taser teeth. As he rubs the one arm that's got electrical burns on it to, to kind of <laughs> prove the point. Not just anybody can take a bite from them and walk away. But uh, how how much did uh, the services cost to keep uh, our our little tailor friend from from being uh, messed with? Come on now, you know that can't disclose that kind of information. Okay, you know how this all works. It's a case by case kind of thing. Is that what you're saying? Of course. true to our clients okay i can sure. i can appreciate that i can appreciate that how about about this <laughs> i can offer you a little uh what's what's the words those lawyers use for the the this for that quid pro, quid pro quo there you go as you immediately Google it real quick and it comes up on your BMI. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, quid, quid pro pro. Yeah, yeah, that, that's the word. Um, 
How about, uh, I mean, we, 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 we negotiated in good faith here of, of, you know, setting things up and no hard feels. I mean, you know, it shouldn't be much to get my puppy repaired. Right. And uh, so, uh, <clears throat> and rather than, you know, the exorbitant costs of a trauma team uh, ambulance coming out to the facility here, uh, how about if um, I, I set up some of my guys to drive your, your friends here somewhere and drop them off on a curb somewhere? I, I'll walk out with my colleagues. Thank you. I mean, they don't, they don't look like they're in too good a walking shape right now. No, no. They're, my colleague in the hallway definitely looks pretty bad shape, but I can get the uh, other two up and running here pretty quick. And he, she just gives you the okay look, and uh, he picks up his pad. Puts it into photo mode. You instantly, you know, these are common things like iPhones. Once it's in photo mode, you know what it is. And he says, uh, scooch in. And he gestures for you to lean towards him at the desk. <laughs> do, do you scooch in? Sure. Don't make anyway. me tell you again about <laughs> the scooching. Still got my hood and stuff up and got, like, indistinguishable, so... Okay. As he, he, he basically gets and get, does a selfie with you on his pad. Okay. And uh, he does a quick tap, 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 send. And he says, I just uh, messaged my people here that uh, you'll be allowed to leave. And okay. uh, as long as you don't start any troubles, I don't think uh, I, I saw the way you were shooting. And he kind of like rubs behind his rib cage <laughs> where there's a teeny tiny hole in his shirt that zinged him pretty good. That uh, you, you'll be starting any drop down fights, I think. Is there, is there anything else I should know besides the explosives in my building? No. Nope. And once we're out, I'll disconnect from your server but i'll monitor until we're out if that's okay and uh if if you don't mind me asking is there any of my people's bodies i have to worry about stepping over when i go downstairs uh did we take anybody out i think i knocked somebody out but okay. i didn't kill yeah, him. i don't think we killed anybody i think we got a knockout i think we have one that we knocked out uh, i'll make sure to have words with with, with that person once we've woken them up Got my information. If you ever need anything, go oh, oh, we, I, I'll, I'll be reaching out to you. I can, I can promise you that. Right. So, if we're done, I will uh, double check here. I think we're okay. <laughs> As he kind of uh, gestures that uh, if you, if you'd like. As he walks around the desk and you see him kind of step on Dante's hand. Go ahead and take a point of damage, Dante. Oh, jeez. No, no. I'm, I'm going to get him up. It's the hand that stole the gun from him. He's still got some resentment for you touching <laughs> his gun. The lady who took his controller, he appreciates that move. You touched his gun. Men don't touch other men's guns. <laughs> oh, and so uh, I... he basically gestures for you to follow him real quick. Where to? Where is he going? And, and he basically says, uh, let me show you an easier way to uh, drag your friends out of the building. Oh, well, let me get them up first. So I pop uh, a stem in each of the two stunned individuals. And he, uh, of course, picks up his bullpen rifle and uh, puts it in its little uh, umbrella holder that's next to his desk. And he looks at you no. and says, they're not going to be a problem when they come around, are they? No, and he, no. And he kind of pats the shotgun over his shoulder. If he'll put them back down. Yeah, no. We'll, we'll be fine. So, so yeah. So, I start with, uh, with uh, Dar or, uh, uh, Dante and give him a stem so you're 100% now on your strain. But what's Ooh. going to happen after? Yeah, well... <laughs> 
<laughs> as he passes Whatever. out while driving in traffic. <laughs> well, at least get to the car. Okay, so Dante, you start to wake up, and he just looks, you know, the big guy looks at you, and he gives you that whole no, no, no with the finger, yeah. and he says, never touch another man's weapon. Yeah. You owe, Wait, what's going on? you owe this little guy here your life. I would have made sure my boys woke you up before the meat grinder finished chewing up more than your legs. <laughs> and so, uh -huh. yeah. briefly explain the situation, and then I stem uh, our loony and explain this situation, <laughs> and tell him we need to grab uh, Darwin in the hall and. Follow him to where we're heading out of here. As you know, Griv's getting up. Yeah, uh, the big guy comes over and says, "Hey, I like a lady who's long and tall and knows how to play with puppies." <laughs> and he gives you the really obnoxious, creepy Jersey Shore guy look. Like, oh yeah, my charm is so great. You just, you just swoon looking at me. Um. Can I make a mechanics roll and see how good his chrome actually is? Uh, yeah, I can give you an. Let's get you an average check so you can check him out. Girl has stand. As all of a sudden she starts checking him out and he likes that. I'm gonna say I think we already experienced kind of how good some of that is. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of you did. <laughs> and I'll even give you a blue because you saw it in combat. You know, taking a beating and still ticking. Go ahead and uh, make your roll. So, uh, <clears throat> with with without using any of your triumphs, you definitely see he has got a l interesting combination of European chrome and Asian chrome. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's got some of the best Japanese stuff and some of the best German stuff mixed together in an interesting way. Like, whoever his cyberdoc is is very intelligent and knows which pieces have the best strengths. And the is fact it unique, is it unique enough where I can maybe guess who did it? No, no, it's 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 somebody, okay. you know, like if you look at it from the uh, street racer car things, you know, right. this type of idea, whoever his his cyberdoc is is a freaking savant for combining the right things to get the best out of, you know, the cybernetics. Okay. And the fact that, yes, he did take some crits, you know, so he's going to have to be under the wrench for a while to get those kinked out. Right. Um, so for one of my triumphs, can I, like, know an easier way to possibly fix some of this stuff that somebody else might not? Uh, I, I would give you a blue for any advice or modifications you would you would do to him. I mean, oh, okay. not I not a blue just, in upgrade, sorry. Okay, I, I can't just use the Triumph for a uh, diagnostic? If you want to tell him, yeah. Yeah, you could basically... Yeah, no, 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 I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell him. You could basically, uh, in, in uh, techie talk, give him the, the upgrade verbally. Yeah. That if you tell your, your mechanic this is I'm, this. Yeah, I, I I don't say this much, but uh, what's the, sorry, what's the slang word for cyberdoc? Uh, basically a cyberdoc. Okay. Or a chopper but, or a grinder oh, or, chopper. or a okay. chromer. Uh, chromer, yeah. But your chromer is incredible. Doing great work. Oh, and make sure you tell him blah 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 um to get around the unfortunateness that happened today and, and he he definitely puffs up when you start doing the sexy chrome doc talk <clears throat> and as, as he just he literally slide does that that creepy guy slide to get closer to you that's totally obnoxiously obvious that he's sliding to get closer to you and says how about uh, you, you share your contact information? He kind of gestures with his pad to you to uh, maybe come over to the shop when he's doing the repairs so you can uh, talk her through doing the repairs correctly. 
And maybe you and I go do something after. Uh, <laughs> I don't mix business with pleasure. I don't mix Chrome with pleasure. Chrome's enough pleasure for me. Well, how about uh, you come bring your tools over sometime? That I can do. And he gestures with this pad for your contact info. Send it. And he smiles and looks at his pad and kind of kind of does that guy look that got you just got some digits. It's, it's that mix between cringe and creep. And almost endearing if you're into that kind of guy. But you do have another triumph. Is that what it looks like when I do it? <laughs> yeah. A <laughs> little bit, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, man, I got to change my life. <laughs> um, yes, well, oh, we've been I'll walking all you, along. Oh, I, I, I'll apologize for the dogs. Um, tell them where I hit them. And I tried to do as little damage as I could, but, you know, they were gnawing on me. As he looks down at your chewed up legs, squirting, you know, human hydraulic fluid. And he just, like, I, I understand, and, and I really do appreciate that uh, you did as, as little damage as possible. And he kind of waves his hand over the side of his desk, and then the little hollow of him playing with his, his cyber dogs pops up. He, he genuinely cares about them. Uh, can't be all bad if he cares about his dogs. Right. And he's generally non-lethal, so, you know... Better than a lot of people. <laughs> Once you work. take the machine gun out of his hands. <laughs> well, even the machine gun was generally non lethal. <laughs> As the doorway all of a sudden sags and bullet pellets come out. Yeah, we didn't want to get shot today, but hey, that happened. As uh, he, he basically, what he was going to show you, uh, Maestro, was he has a yeah. uh, elevator. That's uh, not on the floor plans, very discreet. Uh, can be used to get in and out of his his floor without uh, any intervention from the others. Okay. That if you wanted to uh, drag your friends, as he kind of looks down the hallway at the guy that's gurgling and bleeding out in the hallway. As oh, you, you know what? <laughs> oh, I, I actually have a slap patch, so I'll go here. Actually, here, let me... Let me take care of that. Okay. You guys are so um, sweet. Thank I you. have. Um, I have a nano stitch. And what does that do? Um. Oh, that gets rid of a critical without penalty. Well, we you got? Do you got a crit? I've got need them up right. Yeah, we need them up right now. We can worry about the crits once we get out of here. Okay. Well, I've got um, bio scanner and emergency med kit. Oh no, the emergency med kit's too big to do. Um, I've got the portable, portable um, med kit. Okay, so you're gonna do uh, a medicine check with the kit. Yeah. And we do know that he is more than. Uh... <laughs> more, more than halfway. I think. Yeah. So uh, three, three purple with the blue dice, and just because you're back on the board now, go ahead and make your medicine check. Okay, we do have one, so we'll use that. Well, actually, I just flipped. Oh, That's no. why you have one. Oh. We give that oh. back to you. Okay. Um. Wait a second. Let me. I've got something else here. Uh, Only because I want to see you roll some threats, so he wakes up, <laughs> lives, and then passes the fuck out. <laughs> wow. um, Did we win? Uh, are there any setback dice? Uh, there are not. Okay. As you cut away some of his armor, and you know, you know, unconsciously, internally, he's saying, "Don't fuck up the armor." <laughs> Don't forget to pick um, up the gun. 
<laughs> so I've got I've got one combat medicine, which is a free success. Okay. Um, currently, that's it. Okay. This is like the old days back when you were in the service on the moon. Yeah. Tell me when you're ready. Go for it. Okay, so he gets two wounds and four strain back. Oh, that's actually six. Oh, plus the extra success, so three wounds. Okay, so three wounds back and four stress. And six stress. It costs two extra stress on him. You mean it, it costs him or it gives him back? Costs him. Okay, so... By me doing the combat medicine... Uh-huh. You do it quick and dirty. Okay, I so that means dirty. you get three wounds and two strain back. Better than dead. <laughs> As you, yeah, yeah. you cough Wait. and she's got you bandaged up. I was at negative three, though, so did... But you only you go to zero? zero? That means okay. you're at zero. So basically, okay. he's responsive to your medicine, but he's in a coma. <laughs> As he is drenched in his insides on the outside. You have a feeling that tomorrow, if you used medical on him, he would probably wake up. Um. Well, I'm not going to say this out loud, but we should probably <laughs> take him to the clinic. <laughs> yeah, let's. Yeah, let's and get, uh, there, get out. We're just leaving for dead. He won't know. Your your host basically walks you guys to the private elevator. There's only one button to push. It just goes down to the bottom or comes up depending on where it is when you push the button. Yep. And uh, he he does advise that you don't try to visit him without request. As he <laughs> points to a little security system of some kind, you can't quite make out. Yep. And before we the door closes, Nat, I transfer the ten k back to him. As he gets a little blip on his pad, he just smiles. Just kind of nod at him as we go down. As the door shuts. As he turns around and talks to the yipping dogs in the distance, that I like that little guy in the hood. The rest, <laughs> they 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 can't fight too well. But the little guy in the hoodie, he's got he's got grit. He's got serious steel on steel sparking grit. <sighs> As you guys are dragging Darwin back to the car, I take it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people are giving you guys eyeballs because, you know, poor Grivs got her leg chewed up on one side. You know, Grivs all chewed up and you're you're basically going on, on the good side of town, don't forget, to your yeah, car yeah. and people are just eyeballing you guys. Like, I should be, where Darwin is, will Slap Pack do anything? Uh, yeah, like, Slap Pack will totally do its job. Okay, I'll use one, uh, I'll, I'll use one on him so he can walk down his own out here. Okay, so as the elevator sl stops, Dante slaps a, you know, stim pack so you heal up for, for what, five? It's your first time? Yep. A as you realize yep. that uh, apparently